well, I'm I'm very happy for uh, NECA, Chelsea, and Mary to be able to be honored by the Horizon League. Um, you know, they've all worked hard to to get to where they're at, and um, NECA to be named Freshman of the Year is 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 a really big honor. Um, and uh, you know, she she's done a lot for the team. Obviously, as a as a true freshman, and I'm happy for all of them. I think. You know, all of them would say, you know, they owe their te teammates, you know, a lot of credit also. Um, they got a lot of th good three-point shooters around them to open up the middle, you know, where they can they can get, get some of their uh, scores. And obviously Chelsea leading the league in assists, um, you know, has done a great job for, for them also. It definitely. Um, you know, Mary's been a, a presence in the post, you know, three, four years for us. Um, and NECA is, you know, she's just difficult to guard because she's very strong and physical posting up, but she can also step out um, and, and shoot the outside shot. I think she's shooting like 44% from three um, this year. So, so if they put a bigger player on her, we can move her outside. And if they put a smaller player on her, we can move her inside. So she's, she's created some matchup problems for opposing teams and, uh, her and Mary do a really good job of screening for each other and, and passing to each other and some different offenses and sets that we run. Dana, you just trying to set us up, or? <laughs> We're taking them very, very seriously. Um, I think it was a three-point game in the third quarter uh, the last time we played them. They just beat Robert Morris, uh, who I think has some talented players, and I think they're very – Robert Morris is very well coached. I feel like they, they're gaining confidence as the year goes on, despite their record. Um, and like you said, I mean, they have nothing to lose. I mean, they're just they're going to go play their butts off and and uh, leave it all on the court. And if you're not ready, it's tournament time. And as we know, anyone can beat anyone. I think what we have the first 116 seed upset last year in the tournament. So and I have a feeling there's going to be more crazy things this year because of the just COVID year and everybody's kind of off kilter. I mean, it, you know, when it comes to tournament time, you, you kind of get that extra excitement anyway. Um, you know, one and done, you know, you lose your seasons over and, and no one wants to, that to happen. And everyone wants to, uh, you know, extend the season and win a win a win a conference tournament championship, make that NCAA tournament. And so uh, the sense of urgency is definitely lifted to have both men's and women's team be able to host a game is very exciting. It's at the same time, I, I, I feel disappointed and, and kind of sad for our fans because we have such great community support. Uh, the women's team has the second leading attendance in the Horizon League. Um, a ton of great fans and boosters that, that are there night in, night out for us. So I hate that they can't be in the stands. Um, but it just happens to be that's the case this year with, with uh, COVID and, and the regulations. So we're going we're gonna, to um, you know, give it our all. And it's still nice to be on your home court, your home rims. You get to sleep in your own bed. You have your own routine. So um, we're going to make the most of it. Yeah, I mean, I definitely feel like they're playing with more confidence. They're they're playing looser. I mean, they they have nothing to lose, so they can just go out and play hard and have fun and let the chips fall where they may. Um, anyone that they're playing has a lot more pressure on them, you know, having to having to take care of business, you know, against them. Some of the challenges that might present on the defensive end. 
Yeah, I mean, we definitely have a size advantage, and um, you know, I'm sure they 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 watch the film that we took a little bit of advantage of that last time we played them. Um, they'll, they'll be double teaming and triple teaming Mary and NECA and our post players, so we're gonna have to do a great job uh, of taking care of the basketball and getting it out of those double teams. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw more zone and um, maybe a little more pressure this game, um, you kind of have to be ready for anything because they can throw anything on the table. So, um, and then, yeah, Mary and, uh, you know, Jen Wendler and Emma Van Zanten and, you know, our post players have to have to go out and guard players that are a little bit smaller, a little bit quicker than them on the perimeter and um, be able to get that job done too.